scientists. Welcome back to another episode of Caleb and Luke's Mega Science Show. As you might have noticed, we haven't made an episode in a while. And that's because I have been doing a little bit of procrastinating. If you don't know what that means, ask your parents. It's part of being an adult. But today we have a very cool experiment that everyone can try at home. It's completely safe. And it's going to have to do with lemons. Now before we get into the experiment, <laughs> Luke uh, loves lemons. Let's talk about the properties of lemons. Luke, it's, it feels bumpy, right? Wanna hold it? It feels bumpy. Luke likes <laughs> to eat them. I would not recommend eating them. They're very sour. So we're gonna have the assistant Luke have that one. I've got another lemon. So, as I just said, they're bumpy on the outside. What would happen if you cut it in half? Let's see. <laughs> a knife make sure that your parents help you with this it's, it is dangerous we're gonna cut the lemon in half and we'll put the knife over here safely and look all separated into different areas and if you look really closely there's little seeds in there now another thing that you'll notice about lemons is they smell very nice they have a very citrusy smell Luke you want to smell it Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let me ask him. Lab assistant Luke, did you like the smell? No. No. Okay. Well, you know what? That's okay. To each his own. Another thing is they taste very sour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it. I won't make Luke drink any lemon juice. But I'm gonna take. So there's a little bit in here, and I'm gonna taste it. And. Very sour. No. Oh, it's very sour. <laughs> Another very interesting thing about lemons is they're very acidic. So to to show you that, we're going to put some lemon juice into a beaker here. Yeah. I'm going to squeeze it in. So now there's some lemon juice in there, if you see. And if you remember from our first episode, we talked about acids and bases. And what happens mm -hmm. is when you mix a base, which in this case we're going to use baking soda with an acid, which we're gonna use lemon juice, it's gonna foam up because they're reacting because the acid and the base don't get along and they expand. So let's let's try and put that in there. Can you help me pour this in? Ready, let's pour. Ew. So look, so what happened was it started to bubble up and it fizzed. It made this little fizzing noise and as you see it's rising still very slowly, but it's rising. And that's because the acid from the lemon juice and the base from the baking soda do not get along and they start to expand. And look at that, it's coming over. Luke, look at this. So, those are some of the cool properties of lemons. I think lab assistant Luke deserves a long Waited two pieces of science cheese. One, two, for helping me out. Luke, do you like lemons? Yes. <laughs> Luke likes lemons. All right. On to our next experiment. All right. So with our next experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a lemon into a battery. A lemon battery. So, it's not going to be very powerful, but it will have a little bit of an electric current going through it, and it will have our meter here to show you that it does have power going through it. Now, what a battery needs is three things to work. It needs an anode, which is our copper. It's a copper wire, a little piece of copper wire, a cathode, and now you're going to need a nail that's covered in zinc. And you can buy them very cheap. You can get them at hardware stores. And then you also need electrolytes, which is going to be in our lemon juice. Now what's going to happen is, when they all get put together, the lemon juice, the acid in the lemon juice is going to take, is going to oxidize the zinc nail. Where are you going? It's going to oxidize the zinc nail and send some of its electrons over to the copper, causing there to be a little bit of a charge, and it'll show up on our meter. Lab assistant Luke is trying to escape. I think he needs some more science cheese motivate them i understand i'm like that sometimes so what we're going to do first is we have to get the juice and the lemon all 
out of its little cells. So we're gonna roll the lemon. You wanna help me roll the lemon, ready? Thank you. All right, so now the lemon's all rolled. Next, we're gonna take our copper wire and we're gonna stick it into the lemon about one inch and then about a, a little bit less than an inch over we're going to put the nail just like before uh -oh. over about an inch and there's going to be the juices in there and now we're going to turn on our let's see what happens so we're going to take our things and as you can see it goes up and down and all over the place and that's because there's a small charge going in and there are videos on the internet of, of people being able to power a light <laughs> by using a bunch of lemons and a bunch of copper wires and, and the little nails, but you could actually do it with, with just a couple of lemons if you add more nails and more copper to each lemon. So that's a, another really cool fact about that you can do with lemons is you can make a, a small battery. Uh, this one is not very powerful. As you could see, it was very small amount of power, but still, just like I said, the acid in the lemon juice breaks down the zinc and oxidizes it from the nail, which then sends electrons over to the copper. And the copper wants to accept electrons, and the acid makes that possible, and then you get some power coming out of it. So you've got a lemon battery. Luke, do you think that's pretty cool? No. No? Well, Luke was not impressed let me know guys at home if you were impressed then and i really encourage you to try this because it is safe like ah! i said and it's a very very cool science experiment it's really cool to understand how all these things work and even if you try it at home try putting more nails and more copper into the lemon and let me know if if there's more power coming out of it so we have one more experiment we're gonna make a, a special drink that you drink on hot days. A nice refreshing drink involving lemons, water, and sugar. And that's right, we're gonna make lemonade. Now, I think we need to go to our super science stove in order to make this. We're gonna make a special kind of... Luke is excited. We're gonna make a very special kind of lemonade and it's gonna be an actually using science. So. Luke, can we snap both my fingers, and you guys at home can do it too, and it'll send me and Luke to our super science kitchen. Ready? On three. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, so here we are in our super science kitchen. As you can see, I'm wearing my chef hat of science. And what we're gonna need to do is get about two cups of lemon juice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a lemon, and you're gonna have half a lemon first. And you're gonna use, thank you, a little, I don't know what this thing is called, but it's for getting the juice out of things. So we're gonna get it all in there. And it's okay if you get seasoned there, we'll strain it in a little bit. So we'll get it. It gets it all out of there. We're gonna need two cups of this stuff. All right, so there's one half a lemon. Let's get this other half in there. Okay, so this is gonna take a little while, so let's see if we can use some of our science powers and uh, make it go a lot quicker. So at home, I need you guys to clap three times with me. <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> and look at that, everything that we needed appeared. We have two cups full of lemon juice, we have a pitcher that we're going to pour it into, and we have a strainer, because we don't want all those extra bits. I think lab assistant Luke needs a little more science cheese. There you go, my friend. Some science cheese. So let's take our lemon juice, and we're going to pour it into the strainer so none of the seeds or the pulp get into this, and just the juice comes through. And we're going to get it all in there. So we'll let that strain in for a second. Let's put that over here so that it can strain. 
Next, what we're going to need to do is make a solution. And what we've done for that is we got some two cups of hot water on the stove. It doesn't have to be boiling, just nice and hot. And then we're going to make add in two cups of sugar. Lab assistant Luke, this is very hot, so you have to be safe, right? So let's put you over here. And we're going to put the sugar in, and what we're going to make is called a simple syrup. And what that is, is it's just the sugar and the water combined together, and they're going to become a liquid. It will no longer just be a solid sugar, and the, and the water won't be separate either. They're going to be one combined liquid. So now we have our simple syrup made, and it's no longer two separate things. It's a solution, and it became simple syrup. So we're going to pour that into our lemon juice. Right here, and Luke, look at this. So we'll mix them together, get them all nice and combined so it's no longer just sour and it's not just sweet, it's a little bit of both. And our final step is we're gonna mix a little bit more cold water in there just to fill it up and see if it... there we go put that to the side and let's mix it together one last time perfect now we have to give ourselves a little taste test let's see what it tastes like Luke I'll give you some in a minute all right let's see Excellent. Let me get one of Luke's droppers here. Now Luke is not a big fan of sweet things, so we'll see what he thinks. A little dropper of it. Here, you wanna try some lemonade, bud? Yeah, it's a little sweet and you don't like sweet very much. But I thought it was pretty good. It tasted really well. So guys, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. And I hope you guys can make this at home. Um, Thank you, Luke, for all your help. Thank you for the high five. We'll see you guys next week for some more fun science experiments.